Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the $20,000 Tesla Model S Plaid Track Package. This package primarily addresses customer complaints of severe brake fade when tracking the car or doing more than one hard stop. Final challenge, we're going to brake test from 100 miles an hour. Teslas are famous for having rubbish brakes. Because we've seen already in US many cases where people end up with no brakes. We've seen it also on the stock Model S's or like B100s. Brakes are made of butter. This video will have three parts. In the first part, we're gonna look at all of the hardware and software changes that are included with the track package. Secondly, we're gonna see how professional drivers are reacting to the car after driving it on track. And last, we're gonna see what other options are out there if you don't wanna buy the Tesla package. So to learn about this track package and everything that it includes, we're going to start at shop.tesla.com. So you can buy just the carbon ceramic brake kit for $15,000, or you can select the track package for $20,000. So if we scroll down, we can see that the track package is basically a carbon ceramic brake kit with a wheel and tire package. You're getting 410 millimeter carbon ceramic rotors, both front and rear. The front Brake calipers are getting upgraded to a six piston caliper, the rears to a four piston caliper. Um, you're also getting performance brake pads and fluid. For the wheels and tires, it's a zero G, they're calling it 20 inch aluminum, forged aluminum wheel. So it's probably a little bit lighter and helps with the unsprung mass in the car. And this Goodyear Eagle F1 3R tire that's been, I've heard, specifically engineered for the plaid. So you can see it's a semi-slick tire. It is road legal, so you can drive this to the track if you wanted to. And then there's a video here, and it really highlights these carbon ceramic rotors, the way that they're made. They call it this continuous fiber technology, uh, which apparently is made differently than most carbon ceramic brakes. And then also they have a special uh, coating that should help with reducing brake dust and corrosion and brake feel. Okay, so now looking at software changes, this package will unlock a top speed of 200 miles per hour for this car. And also it says updated firmware tuned for peak performance. So that's kind of vague. We're going to have a closer look at what that means. So Tesla invited the YouTube channel Autotop NL out to drive this car on track. And this is what they said about the software changes. The damping, of course, on these cars is on air. Did a whole lot of tweaking there brake pedal feel, steering feel, ABS, traction control, you name it, all these systems on this car get tweaked in the track package. You can brake for an older Porsche, so the brakes are really good. Ooh, ooh. Okay, well, the first impression, I think I owe Tesla an apology because this is it's more stable. Yep, the weight is, of course, still there. So yeah, I guess we do live in an age where you can modify suspension based on software. In terms of handling, I didn't feel unsafe at any point. The car is really neutral, but yet playful. Like, it, it, it does what you expect it to do. So Misha has been one of the biggest critics of the Plaid and how unsafe and unstable it was on track. But here, he said that the car felt safe, it felt predictable, and that it was neutral, so it wasn't understeering or oversteering. He was also really surprised by how much changes they could make to the suspension through a software calibration. Uh, we're now going out on track. The turning is really sharp. You can also see that the car is a little playful, so it really wants to step out that back end. The seats are not really holding up. We're gonna break at the 150 mark, and these oh, these ceramics are amazing. The steering feel really taking a step off. You can really feel the ABS on a in a really nice way, and the confidence you usually have in brakes at these speeds with a car this heavy it shouldn't be as good as it is but for a car this heavy not a crazy amount of roll all right so the driver here is super impressed with these carbon ceramic brakes he says that really every aspect of the driving experience has turned up a notch with the track package he also mentions that the seat um, is not doing a good job of holding him in place through intense cornering all right, so maybe you don't want to spend $20,000 on the track package for the Plaid. So the only other option in the aftermarket is from a company called Unplugged Performance. They build really nice stuff. You can see on their website there, they, they race at Pikes Peak. 
every year with the plaid. Uh, if we take a look here at the big brake kit, this is for the front. And so the price on that was, uh, well, it depends how you spec it. So we're gonna do the big brake kit with black calipers and the street and track uh, brake pads. So 8,500 bucks here for that kit. And that does include a six piston caliper and the carbon ceramic rotors there. What you do get here um, is the stainless brake lines. You don't get that with the Tesla package. Now, if we go in and look at the rear brakes, we'll see here that it does not include a new caliper for the rear. You are still getting a carbon ceramic rotor and brake pads for $5,000. Okay, so now we're looking at wheels. There's quite a few offerings here. Uh, but the one that looks the closest here is the Unplugged Performance uh, 03 lightweight forged aluminum wheel. On the Tesla package, it comes with a 10-inch wide front and an 11-inch wide rear. Um, they don't offer that here, but we're going to get as close as we can. And so that wheel package is $4,400. And that's not including any tires. So let's add it all up. So if we compare the Tesla kit with the Unplugged Performance kit side by side, we can see what each of them include. And now Unplugged Performance doesn't really have like a track package. I'm just kind of adding it up the best I can um, part for part from their website. All right, so in the left column we have the Tesla package and in the right column we have the Unplugged Performance package. Um, on the left, uh, in the left column we can see that hardware installation is included with this price. And of course, you get the software calibration as part of this track package. Unplugged Performance does not offer rear calipers, performance rear calipers. So you'd be using the stock pled calipers. Um, also, their hardware installation is not included in this price. And of course, there's no software calibration that you can buy from Unplugged Performance. Um, I put a guess here for the price of the Goodyear 3R tires based on the tire sizes from the Tesla website, and it came out to about $2,000 from Tire Rack. The total price from Unplugged Performance is $19,885. So you would save about $115, but of course you would not get the software calibration, which we saw from some of those driver reactions was quite important, and you would also have to pay for um, these brakes to be put on the car. All right, some final thoughts here on this track package. First of all, would I buy it? Yes, I would. If I had the means to buy a plaid, it probably means I have the time to take it to a track and have a good time with it, um, which sounds like a, a really fun thing to do because this thing is just nuts with you know over a thousand horsepower. I think it'd be a blast to be able to drive this car and really further explore its limits with uh, these big brakes, the calibration, and the, the stickier tires. So, and then when it comes to Tesla package versus Unplugged Performance, I think uh, at least the way uh, everything I learned, it seems like it's pretty obvious to go with the Tesla package. They're pretty much the same price. And to me, it seems like you're getting, you're just getting way more with the Tesla package. You're getting that software calibration, which is super valuable because it is changing and improving the vehicle dynamics. Um, you know, by that, I mean, it's changing the suspension settings on the car and it's changing all those feedback, you know, the steering feel and the brake feel. So um, I think that that software package is very valuable. I also don't know how the carbon ceramic rotors compare between the two companies, but I'm guessing from all the feedback on the Tesla kit that these carbon ceramics are gonna do a, a fine job. All right, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Also, if you've driven one of these cars with the track package, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And uh, yeah, have a good day.